Hi everyone, this is Dee. Thanks for joining me this afternoon. I have two um, prophetic dreams that are so interesting. Um, I would ask you all to just, um, just listen and take it with a grain of salt and definitely bring it to the Lord. Right now, I would like to just um, add one more thing besides um, taking the quote from uh, Psalm 19 where I usually always bow my head and say, let the words of my mouth and meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, Lord God. I'd like to also plead the pure shed blood of Jesus over this video in particular, because it's very, very um, revealing. Okay, so like I said, please um, uh, just take it with a grain of salt for right now. Um, it's very in-depth. And I got it from that great channel that I like to um, watch. Uh, every now and again, I watch Great Miracles Avenue. This is um, from a young Christian brother in Jesus. Um, he says, he states, he doesn't go to church uh, because he believes that all churches are controlled by the Antichrist and serve the Masonic order. So I might, I might tend to agree with something that he says, something on the lines of what he says. I haven't been to church myself. My church is the online church. My church is um, the online um, Christians that I associate with. And it has been this way for the past, I'd say, two and a half years. He prays to Jesus every day, and he says that he leans on him for everything. I do as well. I know you do, too, if you are in Christ. Um, he very recently had a very foretelling dream, uh, prophetic in nature. So he says that this was revealed to him by the Lord. So... Uh, leave it to your own discretion, okay? That's all I'm going to say about this. I'm not saying that it is going to happen, definitely. So please don't, um, please don't implicate me. Um, but he did, you know, make it sound like um, it was a very revealing dream and that the Lord showed him these things. So I picked up on it and it quickly sat on my heart. Um, the Lord showed him a picture of the Antichrist because he asked he said show me please Lord who is the Antichrist now this happened and occurred with me also a long time ago and I also revealed that um, if you're fall if you've been following me for the past couple of years you know that I've already read um, a lot of um, transcripts from um, letters and such from uh, Jeff Byerly and that was years ago and uh, at that time, he revealed it was B-H-O. I'm just going to use initials, okay, so you can figure out who that is. That was a long time ago. So that's who I know in my heart. And so he was shown this. He was also shown a picture of uh, Mr. Musk. I'll just call him that, Mr. Musk. And his er interpretation of the dream is as follows, that B-H-O is the A-C and that E-M, or Mr. Musk, is going to to reveal to the world the mark. He suspects it's Neuralink. Okay. Another dream he had last year. That was the first dream he had. Okay. So another dream he had last year about current political system, uh, the current political system. In the dream he saw of the former president, uh, DT, Donald Trump, in a Masonic temple performing his satanic rituals and meeting with other powerful men about his role in the future. Uh, in the dream, they let Trump win the 2024 election, uh, the U.S. presidential election. The globalists um, discussed in the meeting the Maso inside the Masonic Temple that they already have the woke leftists on board with their satanic agenda, but are going to use their controlled pawn, Trump, to convince the divided conservative opposites to stop resisting the globalists and to trust in him in the dream 90 percent of his supporters caved and put their trust in trump over jesus in this dream he was shown that trump is going to implement agenda 2030 the great reset agenda in the united states he was shown in 2025 the united states was going to become fully controlled by the ac and true Christians without the mark will be arrested and sent to camps to be locked up if they didn't, um, if they didn't care. I mean, I'm sorry, that's a, the word there is cave, if they didn't cave. The globalists discussed that they need to get Trump supporters to trust him like a god 
So the AC, you know what I'm saying when I'm saying the A slash C, the AC agenda can be implemented. Uh, Trump's message to con the sheep is that he will restore economic prosperity and the freedoms lost under our current press. Um, it's all an illusion, he says. Instead, Trump will govern as the globalists told him, which is to implement the AC agenda. When Trump returns to office, he's going to be using Israeli Prime Minister uh, Mr. Netanyahu to con weak-minded Christians to support the AC and his agenda. He said, based on the dream, he has concluded that DT, D period, T, T, T period, is a 33rd degree Mason, who is the last king of Babylon mentioned in the Bible. So I say thanks be to God, Yeshua HaMashiach, for revealing this to us through this brother in the Lord. Um, and I would just say to you, um, by all means, just um, bring it to the Lord and pray about it. It's pretty serious, and it's it's got some very, very, very revealing information. So I don't, um, I'm not, um, I'm not saying this is cast in, in iron. I'm not saying this is cast in stone. Um, I'm just saying that uh, this particular uh, Christian man um, had this particular dream after he asked the Lord to reveal to him who it was. Um, that's pretty revealing. So let's pray about it. And uh, if, if you have questions or concerns or prayer requests, please let me know. And and, um, and thank you very much for paying attention. Um, eyes, to, eyes to see, ears to hear. In the name of Jesus, thank you. Have a blessed afternoon, everybody. Amen.